Look at what Times Square. We couldn't really see all the way down the crossroads as we looked at it earlier. Eyewitness News reporter NJ Burkett there with more on the scene, which looks like it's a little bit of visibility down there. NJ? Yeah, that's right. A little bit more visibility, Lee. But as you mentioned, the skies have darkened again. You know, the smell of smoke still lingers in the air here. As you said, the air quality still remains unhealthy uh, for everybody, but it has improved since yesterday. And for a while, at least, the skies were clearer. New Yorkers got a clear glimpse of the sun this afternoon for the first time in days. Tourists are breathing a sigh of relief in Times Square. Diwas Ramal and his family are visiting from Australia. Yesterday was pretty bad. It was very hazy and stuff. Like you normally, we would not have a visibility as well, to a certain extent. But compared to today, like you know, you can see the skies. You know, it's pretty open. It's, it's going out. It's clearing out. The air quality remained unhealthy all day, but with readings that were half as severe as they were yesterday. It appeared as if the smoke that had blanketed the city was slowly starting to loosen its grip. Mayor Adams tried to sound an optimistic note. As of right now, uh, the smoke models are not indicating another large plum over the city, so there's a chance for significant improvement by tomorrow morning and throughout the day tomorrow. There were fewer people wearing masks on the streets of the city today, although the guidance from public health authorities remained the same. Masks recommended for the old and the very young and anyone with a chronic medical condition. I don't think there's a single person who hasn't felt something, something different, you know, more frequent coughing and just a tightness in the throat and watering of the eyes. And those are for people who are healthy, for those who have health conditions underlying already. It's, it's a real challenge for them. Hannah Fennell and her cousin Becca are tourists from Georgia, crossing their fingers that the smoke doesn't ruin their vacation. I sure hope not, because yeah. it's always been my dream to come to New York. And I finally made it happen. Well, there has been a slight uptick in emergency room admissions in certain parts of the city, but that uptick is not regarded as significant. And as Lee reported a moment ago, the worst appears to be behind us.